Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to set up a game server to stream games to your Fire Stick uh, so you can play them like a console and I'm going to do this on an AMD Ryzen 7 PC that has a 1660 uh, Ti graphics card in it so let's get into it. First I had to install Windows on the PC because the previous owner had it running Ubuntu. I then installed all the drivers for the motherboard and the graphics card. Next, I got Retrobat installed, but first you have to install its dependencies. Do a Google search of Retrobat dependencies and you will find them, but I will also put a link in the description to Retrobat and its dependencies. Once we've got Retrobat installed, open it up and then navigate to the Retrobat menu item and install Xenia Canary. This is the emulator that we're going to use to play 360 games. For my Switch games I chose the Yuzu emulator, unfortunately I can't show you how to install that or where to get it, um, but if you search around you should be able to find it. Um, there's also a new emulator called Sudachi which should also work well with Retrobat. Uh, let's just check that it all works by opening up Mario Kart and let's see if the game loads. Great, it does load so I think we're now set up for when we want to stream this game later on. For Xbox 360 games to show up correctly in Retrobat, you'll need to load up the Bat GUI tool which comes with Retrobat and is in the root of the Retrobat folder. Open it up, search for Xbox 360 and then you will see your games in there. They won't have names and they won't be set up when you first look at them but you can scan for your ROMs and then you can go in and sort of configure them all with, with details so you can basically say what they are and Tell, tell Retrobat what this, what this, what these games are, or else they'll kind of show up as just saying default or something like that in the menu. And obviously, we don't want that. Some games you may need to mark as hidden, just because they're like extra EXE files or XEX files uh, within the folder. Uh, but you can do all that within the tool. Okay, let's test the Xbox 360 games work. Um, now that we've put the emulator in, um, set it to Xenia Canary because that's sort of installed. You can also install Xenia. Sometimes a game will work in one and not the other. Okay, I'm going to try Quantum of Solace. Open that up. And yeah, it is loading correctly. Um, the only thing I'd say with the Xenia um, emulator is that some games might crash. Some games might not be playable at all and some games you might get quite a way through and then find it crashes. So it's not a perfect emulator. Um, there are, I think, patches and fixes and all sorts of things. So do some searching around on Google if you find that a particular game doesn't work um, as expected. I, I played a bit of this game and it did seem to work pretty well. And um, it was, yeah, it was loading up really well and playing and I got quite, far into the game, um, well, first level or so. Um, uh, this is just really the opening scenes. Um, but yeah, I, I did okay with this game uh, directly on the machine, but obviously we want to try and remotely play this. So let's move on to that. Okay, to stream these games from the PC to the Fire Stick, we need to install something called Sunshine, uh, which is free to download. Um, if you find the site, do a search for Sunshine. Um, it, Sunshine Stream, something like that, you'll find it. I'll put links anyway. Uh, download the latest version for Windows, uh, which should be on their GitHub. It'll link through from their site to there. So yeah, we install that and then we can configure it. Um, yeah, so just go through the setup process. It's not going to take a very long time. It's not a it's not a major like install files, so it's, it's pretty fast. And then it will open up um, the details about it. Um, obviously, we're not interested in any of that. <laughs> so once it's installed, uh, here we go, yeah, so it should be finished. So once it's installed, you can open up its interface from the taskbar. Um, just proceed to to go to it because it's not obviously it's just using a fake SSL certificate um, just a self-generated one that's why you get a warning um, set up a username and password um, this is sort of important if anybody somehow remotely accesses your machine and can 
then start streaming your games. Um, it's unlikely if you're behind, you know, uh, a, a normal sort of router and, you, you know, you're not actually forwarding the correct ports and stuff. But anyway, it's good practice to have a password on there. It won't affect how it behaves on your Fire TV anyway, so that'll be pretty straightforward. So yeah, then you can, this is just for the admin login. Um, so now you can log into the admin because um, it'll it'll reload itself and then what we want to do is set up Retrobat as an application um, you could probably remove these um, other applications because you don't really need them but um, we'll just create a new one for now uh, yeah and we want a detached command um, so you add a detached command and you want it to be the path to your Retrobat executable which should be under the C drive, C Retrobat, Retrobat EXE. Um, if it's the same as mine, that's a default, um, but you know, default location, but of course your Windows setup may be different, um, but it's likely to be the same place. So that's now set up. At this point, you'll need to go over to your TV and install Moonlight on your Fire Stick. Once you've got that installed and you set yourself up with your client in here, you'll need to know the IP address of your um, computer which you can get from your network settings but once you've done that it will give you a pin and you can come back into this window and put your pin in and then you should have the two devices connected together I've already got my client set up on my Fire TV so I'm going to switch across to there now and start up Retrobat from Moonlight and you'll see the you know it should start up exactly as it would do on your PC when you start Retrobat and you should have the full interface I'm using an Xbox One wireless controller, so you'll need to set that up as well on your um, on your uh, Fire Stick. That's pretty easy to do in the controller setting. Uh, but as you can see, I should be able to load up games. So I can see my Xbox 360 games in there. I should be able to now set the emulator, just in case I haven't already set it. It depends which emulator you want to run. If it, it might default to Xenia instead of Xenia Canary, depending on what you got installed. Uh, but I'm going to load up the uh, leaked version of GoldenEye, which is this sort of remastered HD version, if you like, of um, GoldenEye 007, a game I really love. Um, had it on the N64 when I was a kid. Um, and this game plays really well on, on this PC. And, um, and with this emulator, so just going to do a bit of um, playing this game and showing it to you, seeing how it performs.
That played pretty well, I thought. Let's now check out some Mario Kart. That played pretty well, but one of the benefits of having more powerful hardware than the original console is we can upscale the graphics, so we can set this to two times resolution and see how it performs. And it should be much crisper. We'll also need to make sure that our client, uh, Moonlight, is also streaming in a high resolution. So I'm going to set it to 1440p and see if that is a better picture quality than what we got before. This definitely looks a lot better to me now in 1440p upscaled um, and also streaming in 1440p but it may not come out in the video because this video is in 1080p and the game is in 1440p so it's basically being downscaled to 1080p again uh, but it looks pretty good to me so you'll have to take my word for it. You might be able to notice a subtle difference um, between the two um, in this anyway but yeah, it is a lot better. You could even try going to 4K, depends on your network quality as well, because obviously you've got to stream this across your network. I recommend doing it with cables rather than having Wi-Fi really. Okay, let's return to the Xbox 360 now and run uh, Quantum of Solace. And now we're streaming this in 1440p. Uh, maybe we'll detect a bit better quality in the... Um, um, in the stream. We're not upscaling this, this should just be the normal graphics. Uh, maybe possible with this machine to do some upscaling, although it is Xbox 360 so probably best just to run it at the normal resolution. Um, yeah, let's take a look. The Palio horse races today. It's likely to be unstable down there. We've got 15,000 Palio fans directly above him. Worry about Mitchell, Tanner, not me. Find his exit. Okay, let's try some N64 now. I'm going to set the upscale to be 4K. Um, so you go into uh, set internal resolution and then you set that up to, um, I think we'll get it up to 4K. Yep. Um, so I'm going to save that. This machine should definitely be capable of that. Uh, right, let's give it a go. Yeah, that seemed to play pretty well, but you would expect that this machine. It is a AMD Ryzen 7 8 core processor with a lot of RAM, so it should be able to play most things pretty well. Um, you probably could even do things like PS3 as well. Haven't tried that out yet. Uh, but yeah, thanks very much for watching that. Um, hopefully it's of use to you. Um, it, it's really good to be able to play these games remotely on your Fire Stick. Um, and the experience is pretty good and if you can get the network connections all right then 
you could probably you know stream it all in 4k so yeah thanks very much for watching please give me a like and a subscribe and um, yeah I'll see you again in the next one thanks very much for watching